13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Amen. Come on, please, Lord, and abide here. I thank you to lift your hands right where you are. And begin to worship God for who he is. It's nothing like being in the very presence of the Almighty. It's nothing like seeking his face. It's nothing like bowing in the presence of God. Somebody asked the question, why is it that you love God? And it's simple, first lady. For God so loved the world that He gave. He gave. He gave. He gave. His only begotten Son. Come on, lift your hands right where you are. And I dare you, before we even go forth, for you to open up your mind and say something to Him. Worship Him. Come on, somebody go for you. Let's come and say something. Hallelujah. We love you today. We give you glory. And we are in your name because you're worthy. And the song says, Because you first love me.
Yeah. <laughs> 
hallelujah, with this access that you join in. Where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. Yes. And I know today is set aside for a graduation of the youth, but I challenge you today to graduate in the Spirit on today. Yes. Come on, upgrade in the Spirit on today. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. I bless my power, Pastor. Hallelujah. And I'm a supervisor being here on today. We bless you. And we are with you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 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 Come on, clap your hands.
Amen. She told me this was her job. I don't know how that's got to be my job. <laughs> Amen. But it's so glad to see all of the mothers on today and all of the people of God. And I just want to say a word of encouragement to the graduates on today. First of all, to little Callie, she's just getting started. She's just getting started. She's in those wonder years. Just everything is going to be new to her, and she's going to enjoy the next six, seven, eight years. It's just going to be just encourage her in everything she does. Um, just keep her encouraged. And to what you call it, Desi? Desi? Darion? To Darion, I just want to say enjoy your high school years. So many people don't know how to enjoy where they are. Enjoy those awards that you receive. It says to me that you are an outgoing person. Get involved in everything that you can. Just enjoy, explore, and learn, and explore, and learn, and stay involved. Don't worry about the bar friends. Don't, don't even let that cloud your mind. These are you. This is your time to learn all you can and to enjoy everything that you can. So just stay involved. Stay involved. Be open to your parents' wisdom. They've walked this road before. Don't close your mind to what they have to say. Your grandparents and your aunts and your uncles, they walk this road. The mothers in this church, they've been down this path. The first lady has been down this path. So just stay open to the advice that they give you. Because I'm telling you, if they see you straying from the path, they're going to tell these women of God. They're going to call them on the side and they're going to say so. Missionary Rose is so full of wisdom. She is going to be a firecracker for the Lord. Did I tell you that, Missionary? <laughs> Praise God. But listen to them. Don't close your heart to listen. And just stay open. Uh, God has a plan for your life. He says, I know the plans I have for you. And so just stay open to his plan. Uh, our first year college student, she said, keep God first. Keep God first. Keep God first. If you keep God first and you stay open, you're going to be a great success. God bless both of you. God bless And thank you, Mother, for those words of wisdom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and at this time, we're going to have our Great in New Orleans jurisdiction president of the youth department, President Rhonda Glanton, and she's going to come and give words of encouragement to our graduates on today.
love you back. I thank you for loving me back. I love you guys. I love you guys. And to the rest of the house, to Elder Russell, wherever he stepped off to go and do some work probably, and to the district missionary, the preaching machine herself, Lady Ava Robinson, always so beautiful, so classy, and always working. Amen. And to the mothers, Mother Fanny, there's not like her nowhere. God bless you. Man. Mother Fanny, and of course to our sainted mother, Mother Gloria Major Brown. I knew Man. she'd be here this morning, and we always give place for Mother. Amen. 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 We're here to honor our uh, graduates and promotees on today. Did I hear there's a college student here as well? Yeah. Oh, and is, is that Andre? Andre, is that you? Hey, Andre! Oh, Andre! She knows I'm talking to. Her. She knows I'm talking to her. Hey, Andre, that's my girl. Well, listen. Let's start with the musician and his jacket, amen? Yeah. Shout out this morning, Plug it, plug it, plug it. Right? I was watching it, though. I was watching the service. And y'all forgive me. I, I thought I was watching today's service. The service I was watching on while I was driving here this morning was so good. I was in the car. I couldn't wait to get here, y'all. And I got him out. I was like, oh, that ain't what they had on. Lord, have mercy. Y'all know our convocation is coming. We need y'all to be in place. Yeah. Amen. And yeah. Make sure we show up our bishop and yes. our leader and our mother. Amen. How do you go come and bring some folk with you? Amen. And if Elder Danielle have already announced the musical of the year, the gospel concert extraordinaire will be happening on Monday, July 11th. Man. At Second New God Baptist Church. You can see Elder Danielle for more information. It's going to be lit. Fire on top. I want to see all y'all here right now to be there Monday night, July 11th, because that's when the convocation starts. Amen. That's when it kicks off. Hey, missionary Chicago. Love you already. No. Amen. But Darion, Derry, my girl, and Callie Wally. Congratulations to you both for being promoted to the ninth grade. That's a big deal. How many of y'all know that's a big deal? Everybody ain't going to high school. That is a big deal, something to be honored. And graduating from kindergarten, moving up to the big girl school. Yes, she is. Give it up for Miss Callie and Lady Jerry on today. And that mother already spoke so well that she always does. And I thought I had shared what I was going to share already with her because she said everything. So I could just say amen again, amen, and go on and sit down. But I want to encourage our young people on this morning to do everything that mother said because she is absolutely right. I want to encourage you guys to be hopeful and to always choose hope. That's what I want to encourage you with today is to choose hope. There's so much going on in our world today, and I know that you all see so much. We all see so much in our environment, in school, at work, just everywhere we go. Some abominable stuff, some, some crazy stuff, some heart-wrenching stuff, some hurtful stuff, some frightening stuff, if we're honest, right? Some frightening stuff is going on in our world today. But I want you all to know that you can look forward with so much hope because of Psalms 23 and 6 there tells you, goodness and mercy is going to what? Follow. Follow you all the days of your life. So in spite of and regardless to whatever's going on around you, I want to encourage 
y'all to remain hopeful. And we're here to uh, encourage and congratulate them. This is really for everybody today. We all need to remain hopeful uh, with everything that's going on. I talk to people that going crazy right now about gas. Like, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I'm like, excuse me? God has changed. Amen. Right? Yes, he is. We still have a hope in him, amen. So I want to encourage our young people, especially, remain hopeful. I know you see students wild out in school. You know, when I worked in the school system as a school nurse, those kids did some stuff that I didn't even think about doing when I was in school just a few years ago. That is so different today. And I know you've got all kinds of things coming at you, and kids saying, let's do this, we can do that. And we're like, mother say, stay strong, do what you know is right. Your parents have already put in you. Amen. Right? And it's always looking ahead for what's to come. Amen. You know there's so much more. You know that today is always going to be better than yesterday. Right. And tomorrow is still to come. So as she said, plan what you want to do. Seek God for his will for your life, what he wants you to do. And then set your plan, set your goals. And always be going for something and know, no matter how bad it might be right now, it's going to be better. Because I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing to get ahead. I'm doing what's right, so I know right is going to have to be yeah. right. Yeah. And then, so I want to encourage you guys to know that there's nothing there that you can't do. There's nothing here that you can't do. All you got to do is keep God at the center of your life. Yeah, yeah. We got 
God bless you, Pastor Lord. Thank you so much. Minimum wage 
is not God's best for your life. I'm going to say it again. Minimum wage is not God's best for your life. You say, Pastor, I got to start somewhere. Yeah, you can start somewhere and you can start on top and go on higher. Uh, my daughter, my daughter, uh, she had her own name. Uh, she just started. She just started her uh, new job uh, a couple weeks ago. And when she walked the door, she walked the door not getting minimum wage. She walked the door making much more than what was already allocated. And so I want to challenge you today to raise your expectation when you are going on these jobs. And when you see what you are making now, don't expect to be making it now. What you make it now at this time next year. I want to challenge you to raise your expectation. As a matter of fact, I want you to begin to apply the jobs that you know you get qualified for and see God prove himself to you and work a miracle in your life and cause the windows of heaven to be open and pour out a blessing where you won't have room enough to receive. There are multiple ways you can give on today. If you're giving with your soul, be a cash out. That's dollar time, dollar sign, prayer towel, C-O-G-I-C. That's dollar sign, prayer towel, C-O-G-I-C. If you have a down, download it on your phone with your soul, be it give it a buy and look up the prayer towel, Church of God in Christ. Or you might say, Pastor, I'm writing a big check for today because I know they got some things that y'all want to accomplish and do. And so I'm just going to sort of literally do this check. Make your checks out to the prayer towel, C-O-G-I-C. Amen. And just make sure you got the money in the bank with that check cash. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So I want to prepare. I want to give them today. Amen. I see some people writing. I'm going to give you another opportunity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Because they are there, calamity cannot happen, disasters cannot happen. 
heaven. Shootings cannot happen. But I thank you right now that they are protected and that even others who are connected to them and around them, oh God, are called because of their portrait being in the midst of the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that even the next level, oh God, shall be high, oh God. They shall continue to grow and continue to grow and continue to grow. Father, I thank you right now that scholarships are all Our first house 
for the three-story house. I was driving, driving the neighborhood, letting them say, I'm going to stop looking at your house. I'm going to look at your house. I said, well, what? We can't afford that. I'm going to look at the house. We don't even have a job. And then we get out, we look in, and I said, oh, three-story. I said, this could be the cry room right here. And I'm looking at that and everything. She said, well, you got me to believe. You know, she's not anymore. She, she's just a joke. And so we leave, we left that place, and uh, then uh, a couple weeks later, uh, we were driving through the people, people was running down, she was flagging us down. And I stopped and the man said, we've been looking for you, we want you to have this house. And I was looking at him like, you don't got a job. He said, I asked you what kind of job you had. He said, I want you to have this house. Next thing you know, we went to sign all kind of papers and documents, and we ended up with a three-story house. Here. Doesn't matter what you're dealing with, what kind of resource you got. No job. Here, no job. No job. We was in uh, Gary, Gary, Indiana. Was up there. I went and preached. When uh, I was preaching for Bishop Charles Ellison Black, who's the vice president of the uh, one of the vice presidents for the religious department in the Church of God in Christ. I was speaking for him in the service. My family's whole circumstance just started changing. Just, I mean, just changing. He said, "With the word that's in your mouth, he said, I need to, need to bless you." Took him, took him to the store, bought all kinds of lady more, all kinds of kids, all kinds of. I said, you need to go, need to, go to Memphis. Man was going to put me up on the mission Bible, but I couldn't find the FedEx form, so I missed that opportunity. And then, look at the man, look at the man, said, the great things are just going to be happening in your life. And I just started preaching to the I go to churches. People didn't even know, people knew who I was, I didn't know who they was. There was two of the other preach. And one man, his name was Pastor Ernest Zerk. He said, I have a house I want you to have. I said, sir, he said, I have a house I want you to have. He said, I'm going to come and pick you up. He picked me up, took me to this house. It was a two-story house, upstairs, downstairs, kitchen upstairs, kitchen downstairs, living room upstairs, living room downstairs, washroom, uh, office, the depot, three-car garage, all these different things. And how much we paid for the house? We, nothing. The house was given to us. So the favor of God has always been strong on our lives. And I release that favor upon your life. Whatever you believe in God for, just go expect it like you already got it. They can either tell you one or two things. They can tell you yes, or they can tell you no. But I'm telling you, God, favor is strong upon your life. Upgrade of all things concerning you. Amen. Amen. Well, we're calling for presentations to our graduates. Amen. Um, Sister Kimberly Randolph is coming. Amen. Let us receive her. She's doing such an awesome job with our youth ministry. Can we bless God for her? Come on, come on. I say, can we bless God for her?
surprise me. So Jerry and I, we have a little treat bag for you here, as well as we have a card from the church on behalf of Pastor Lord and the rest of the church. If you want to treat you to something, you can go ahead and ask for your mom bag there. But for you, treat yourself to something, honey, and congratulations.
you know, she really does look out for our youth. Yeah. Um, a couple months ago, Desmond was still in school, and Sister Rhonda was around um, Fort Lauderdale. So I sent her a little message. I said, you know, that's in Desmond's area. You know, she's like, send me that message. I'm trying to stop and see her. And before you know it, she was there in Palm Beach in front of the school. Wow. Going to see Desiree. I said, Desiree, you had, you had a visitor. <laughs> and she went and she sat up for a few minutes and she blessed her as well. She blessed her as well. So I thank God for because she's always trying to have activities for our youth. So when we give you all a call or send you all the text, you know, go on and respond because we're just trying to, you know, have some activities for our youth because she's really very, very concerned about our youth and I thank God for her being here on today. And at this time, I'm gonna turn it back over to our pastor, Pastor Moore. Thank you all. Thank you so much. We're gonna prepare ourselves, amen, before this missile, but we don't wanna close out the service without offering someone an opportunity to come and know Christ. If there's anybody here today who's not saved, but you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I want to let you know that on today, that in spite of everything that you've been through, in spite of everything that you've gone through, we have a risen Savior who's here for you. He's a pillow to meet you at your point of need. And you might not even be in the service, but you may be on our streaming audience on today. And you may say, I want to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. We offer Christ to you on today. Secondly, you may have one who's walking with Christ, but you're no longer right standing with him. You allow something to come and interfere with your relationship. Amen. God is always there whether to love you. He'll never turn his back on you. So if there's one today, you're saved. Yeah, I mean, you're not saved. You want to accept Jesus Christ, the Lord is saved. You. We offer Christ to you. Secondly, you want to walk with him, but you're no longer right standing. You want to recommit your life to Christ. This call is for you. And then lastly, if you're saved, amen, you want to become a part of the prayer title Church of God in Christ. Amen. We offer to you one of the greatest ministries on this side of Zion, the prayer title Church of God in Christ. Uh, we, we are the church that won't tell you where you are, but we'll love you where you need to be. We shall be known as the church where families gather. Hallelujah. Is there one on today? Is there one on today? Amen. Well, let us stand, let us stand, let us stand. Amen. So good to see my daughter in faith. Amen. Sister Ashley Robinson being in the house on today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. She just had to be working and working and working and working. Amen. So good to see Sister Flavia. Amen. Those twins back in the house on today. Amen. We love you all. We love you. We love you. We love you. Amen. Father, we thank you for the service on today. We thank you for those who have assembled here in the sanctuary and those who have assembled in our virtual audience. Father, I ask right now that you would cover these your people and keep them in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you right now, God, for your grace being upon us. And we thank you right now for your mercy being released. Father, I ask right now that this shall be one of the blessed, blessed weeks of our life. Father, I even declare right now that you're favor upon every situation. In the name of Jesus. Father, even stuff that we may be even getting ready to enter to that we are not even aware of. Father, I thank you right now for your favor being upon every situation. And we ask right now that you would bless everything that we're getting ready to partake in. On the other side of the fellowship hall, blessings for the nourishment of our bodies. And we're forever giving them the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You are dismissed.